for all his bombs and tanks and missiles, I don't believe that the Russian dictator will ever subdue the national feeling of the Ukrainians and their passionate belief that their country should be free. Nous avions anticipé ensemble cette crise. We had anticipated this crisis together by conducting a demanding dialogue and alongside our allies and European partners. We have done everything to avoid it. It is there and we are ready. To this act of war, we will respond without weakness, with cold blood, determination and unity. This 24th of February is a terrible day for Ukraine and a dark day for Europe. By attacking Ukraine, Russian President Vladimir Putin is once again blatantly breaking international law. We hope that all parties concerned will not close the door of peace, remain committed to the dialogue, consultation and negotiation. We send a clear message to the Russian government that we demand an immediate end to the hostilities and withdraw the recognition of the independence of the territories of another sovereign nation, Ukraine. We are now progressing uh, the second phase of those financial section, uh, sanctions. Uh, the Acting Minister of Foreign Affairs, Senator Birmingham, has uh, completed um, the uh, process of uh, applying sanctions to an additional 25 persons. Hungary's position is clear. We stand with Ukraine. We stand with the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Ukraine. Naturally, even today, Hungary will participate in all kinds of discussions with our allies, which aim to decide on a coordinated response and reaction. The Ministry of Interior is preparing the need to welcome refugees to Finland. The concern is shared by all. We may observe a significant number of refugees arriving from Ukraine. Today opens a dark new chapter in the European history. Russia has invaded the European country and is threatening a democratic government elected by the Ukrainian people.